The Chicago Bears have made five roster cuts, and we are bringing you today's news thanks to LinkedIn Talent Solutions. If you're starting a new business or looking to improve your business, well, look no further. further. LinkedIn Talent Solutions is going to help you hire the right people. Go to LinkedIn.com slash NFL Daily. That is LinkedIn.com slash NFL Daily. Go hire the right people. Post your job posting for free with LinkedIn Talent Solutions. That's going to help you hire the right people. Okay, so the Bears have made five roster cuts here, and here they are. Uh, we broke one down earlier this morning on the channel. Daz Newsom was the first one to bite the dust. If you want further details on him, you can check out that video. We'll obviously dive into him a little bit here as well. Jake Barges, the fullback who signed a few days ago because Kari Blazing game uh, had a cast or was seen in a cast here in the second preseason game, but he returned to practice, so Barges hits the road here. Julian Davenport also gets cut uh, by the Chicago Bears. Uh, he did not show much in the preseason. The Seattle Seahawks and then LaKel London, uh, the defensive lineman who's been here for a few years, UDFA, uh, back in 2020. He got cut as well. All NFL teams had to trim down to 80-man rosters today. Those are the five moves for the Chicago Bears to go from 85 down to 80. And then, of course, next Tuesday will be the big one uh, when all 32 NFL teams have to go from 80 to 53-man rosters. Now, obviously, Daz Newsom is the name that sticks out on this list. Sixth-round pick a year ago who... I'll be honest, I quite liked the pick uh, by Ryan Pace. Uh, I thought the value was good. He was one of the best kick return and punt return uh, prospects in that draft. I thought he would have made the team last year. Didn't make the team last year. Got a fresh start, new regime this year. Too inconsistent. Two muff punts in the preseason. One for sure is fall. Other one not as much, but still had some drops both in games and in practices. Just didn't work out for Daz Newsom. We'll talk about him and some of these other guys a little bit further. But first, which cut surprised you the most? Which of these cuts really stood out to you and you're like, hmm, I thought they might be cut, but I thought they'd at least get to play one more preseason game and show what they could have. Maybe Daz Newsom's that guy, but um, at the end of the day, he hits the road. Which cut surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments section. I wouldn't say I'm surprised by any of them. Uh, I did think Daz Newsom would get to play one more preseason game, so I guess I'm mildly surprised he was cut now, but I'm not surprised he was cut. He clearly uh, started to fall behind uh, in the pecking order for the Chicago Bears at wide receiver. We'll also explore what receiver looks like at this point in time, but you know, Bo Pete Keys, maybe LaKel London, a bit of a surprise. I thought he had a decent camp, but uh, Davenport didn't stand out and Barger's just signed, so neither of those would be a huge surprise. So I guess Daz is the closest, but – at the end of the day, I don't think any of them were that surprising. Subscribe to the channel because when news drops like roster cuts being made, we have you covered with the video here at youtube.com slash bears. Now, subscribe for the latest Chicago Bears news, rumors, updates. Training camp is officially over. Bears are now into game week mode, so we'll have practice reports and uh, updates uh, leading up to week one. And, of course, this uh, weekend preseason game against the Browns, which will be live for a watch party. So subscribe. We crossed 50,000 subs. Trying to get to 51 as soon as possible. So a little more on Daz, then we'll focus on the other guys because I do think Daz really stands out. The two muff punts really buried him, especially the first one. The first time he sees the field in the preseason, he muffs a punt. I mean, it, you just cannot have it. Not only did he muff it, they lost about 30 yards and a block in the back ensued because of that muff, muff punt. His chance to make this team was to make an impact on special teams. Didn't do that, and he was too inconsistent catching the football. So he hits the road here, and now – you kind of look at this and you're like, okay, who is that good news for? Well, David Moore, who went on IR, he's out of the mix now. Nikhil Harry, who's injured, I think that bodes well for him to make the initial 53 and then being placed on short-term IR. Uh, I think you've got uh, a guy like Dante Pettis who benefits from this. Uh, Tajay Sharp, I think, is a really big beneficiary. I think he's pretty close to uh, a, a lock at this point unless uh, the Bears just don't like what they see between now and cutdown day. Daz simply just fell behind, guys. Other guys made plays. He didn't. Um, he had that touchdown in the preseason opener, but too many negative plays. Daz Newsom gets cut. We wish him the best and a fresh start moving forward in his football career. 
All right, before we break down the other cuts and maybe look at some other guys on the roster bubble, we want to shout out LinkedIn Talent Solutions, a new sponsor here at Bears Now for sponsoring today's show. If you're starting a new business or looking to grow yours, look no further. As you gear up for the fall, you need the right people on your team to help your small business fire on all cylinders. LinkedIn Jobs is here to make it easier to find the people you want to talk to faster and for free. Create a free job, job post in minutes on LinkedIn Jobs to reach your network and beyond to the world's largest professional network of over 810 mi million people. Simple tools like screening questions make it easy to focus on candidates with just the right skills and experience so you can quickly prioritize who you'd like to interview and hire. It's why small businesses rate LinkedIn Jobs number one in delivering quality hires versus leading competitors. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the candidates you want to talk to faster. Did you know every week nearly 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn? Post your job for for free at linkedin.com slash NFL daily. That's linkedin.com slash NFL daily to post your job for free terms and conditions apply. And what I think of, of how we've built here at Chat Sports, definitely uh, a startup business here. When I first started here, there were six employees. Now we're over 20. LinkedIn Talent Solutions, a big help. I found job or a Chat Sports job posting over three years ago on LinkedIn and I applied. Uh, I ended up being the right fit here. Daz Newsom wasn't the right fit for the Bears, but if you want to find the right fit for your business, LinkedIn.com slash NFL Daily. Post your job posting for free right now by using that link. All right, uh, let's get to the other cuts here. Bo Pete Keys, listen, um, Ryan Poles knew him from Kansas City. He was a late-round pick a couple of years ago for the Chiefs. Brings him over to Chicago uh, this offseason uh, to give him a look here. Kid got shredded against Seattle, and that's against – deep reserves. He just did not look good. Uh, had a couple breakups, but I mean, he gave him some big plays. I mean, let's just be honest. He is not an NFL starting caliber corner. Not surprised he got cut. LaCale London, who I've got a bit of a soft spot for. I've, we've talked back and forth a couple of times. He hit me up after the Bears signed him as a UDFA a couple of years ago. Uh, Hardworking guy. It just didn't, probably just didn't have enough talent. Didn't bring enough to the table as a defensive lineman. Prior regime guy. Maybe Ryan Pace gives him a shot in Atlanta. Who knows? But, uh, uh, London uh, just never really quite broke through for Chicago. Thought he might survive this round of cuts and, you know, not necessarily make the 53, but be in better position for the practice squad. If you're getting cut before, uh, you know, the 80-man roster cut uh, down spot, uh, your chance of making the practice squad isn't looking great. Other two guys, Jake Barges, Julian Davenport were the other two. Davenport did not stand out. I think when they signed him, they thought maybe he could be a swing tackle type. He really struggled. Barges, I think, was a quick security blanket while uh, Kari Blazing game missed some time or missed last preseason game with the cast on his wrist, but he returned to practice. So Barges hits the road, and you add all that up, and you're back to an 80 man roster. Again, got to cut 27 more players in the next week. Are you upset with any of this week's cuts? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I'm really not. I don't think any of these five guys had a real chance to make the roster. Daz Newsom was probably the closest to be on the bubble, but clearly he wasn't in the Bears' eyes if he got cut now. So wouldn't say I'm upset. If you are, let me know in the comments section. All right, so I do want to look at 10 players on the roster bubble that I'm keeping an eye on uh, heading into this Browns preseason game, and I think we will have a preview video go up between now and Saturday, so be out on the lookout for that. Subscribe, turn on notifications. Five players on offense, five on defense. There's obviously more guys than this, but Darrington Evans at running back, can he show enough to justify the Bears carrying four backs? Because I think David Montgomery, Khalil Herbert, and Tristan Ebner are locks. Can Evans be that fourth guy? We'll see. Nikhil Harry, he's obviously not going to be able to play. He's dealing with an ankle injury, but uh, I think that's a name uh, to monitor here. I think uh, Daz Newsom getting cut bodes well for him. Dante Pettis, I think he's on the outside looking in. Can he make enough plays this last game? Same with Isaiah Coulter, who certainly moved into that conversation, still needs to show a little bit more. And then Chase Allen, the tight end. I could see the Bears carrying four tight ends. Can Allen be that fourth guy? They could also carry Jake Tongs, who's, or Tongis, who's a fullback tight end hybrid, uh, to be a backup fullback and that fourth tight end. So we'll see on that front. Uh, defensively, Micah Dutreadway, I think he's – fairly safe right now, but uh, another good performance would certainly go a long way in him making this team. Trayvon Coley has positioned himself into the conversation. Signed a couple of weeks ago, 
three sacks in two preseason games. Can he do enough to make the 53? I'm watching that. Sam Kamara had a sack last week. I think he's firmly on the bubble as an edge rusher. Maybe that fifth guy after Robert Quinn, uh, Alquanine Muhammad, Travis Gibson, and Dominic Robinson. Can he be a fifth edge rusher? We'll see. Tavon Young, Duke Shelley. I'll even throw Thomas Graham in the mix as uh, he's been banged up. Uh, Young and Shelley missed some practice time. Corner is the toughest position to figure out right now for the Bears. So a couple more names on the roster bubble, which means tough decisions are coming, guys, especially for a first-year GM in Ryan Poles, a first-year head coach in Matt Eberflus. This is far from over. I have a feeling that the Bears probably feel good about 48, maybe 50 players on the 53, but two, three spots there, probably still up for grabs and uh, could come down to this final preseason game against the Browns. All right, name a player on the roster bubble that you want to keep. Maybe I'm forgetting somebody as well. Let us know in the comment section who uh, are you keeping an eye on and hope makes this team that isn't necessarily a lock at this point. And subscribe to the channel because we'll have a full 53-man roster video once the roster is announced next Tuesday. We'll probably do a final roster projection following the Browns preseason game as well, so be out on the lookout for that. YouTube.com slash Bears now. The latest Bears news and rumors coming at you every single day.